Good day again everyone, it's another adventure day here at Il Nido, Palawan. We will be doing the tour bay package. This tour is one of the most relaxing tours because of the places we will be visiting. Our tour guide currently introducing and discussing our itinerary for today. Let's enjoy ourselves. Papaya Beach is one of the amazing beaches here in Il Nido, Palawan. The beach boasts powdery white sands and an excellent snorkeling place. You can enjoy the view of the sea from the coast by sitting on the swings hanging from the coconut trees. Papaya Beach is adjacent to the Seven Commandos Beach. The two beaches are separated by a rocky cliff. You can also do kayaking experience from Korong Korong to Papaya Beach. dito kami sa may papaya island so history lang daw is madaming papaya dito kaya tinawag na uh, papaya beach pala sorry ah, hindi papaya island pero right now dapat baguhin na siguro <laughs> since niyog yung mga andito Ayan. so let's enjoy and let's go for a swim nandun pala yung kasama ko na tutorial hopefully she enjoys and I enjoy it. so Kukuha din ako ng uh, mga Guro Sound Landscape of the Race Using action camera Wala akong drone, sorry So I will try to go for a snorkeling So din lang sa part nyo And let's see Kung ano makikita natin sa mga uh, Sa ilalim ng tubay Kudugnon Cave sits at the foot of Mount Maateg, a scenic view that welcomes tourists on their arrival to the beautiful island. Just a piece of advice, if you're going to do Turby, make it during low tide. To enter the cave, you will be passing into a small hole wherein you need to lay on your back to enter the cave. Just be extra careful. This tourist destination attracts guests not just because of its natural beauty but also because of its great anthropological significance to the Philippine history. It is said that Kudugnon Cave serves as Neolithic burial site or a natural catacomb for ancient Palawanos and settlers from Borneo, making it very important archaeological site. Ito kami sa my Snake Island. So we're going to have lunch. 
here at Snake Island before. Yung sandbar is hindi naman namin kita. So, wawa naman. Next time na lang. <laughs> so, this is the third destination for Turby Snake Island. Best chef, best chef. Oh, my. Ano pa? Meron pa talaga yung pancit. Ano yun? Pancit ba? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy yeah, summit Snake Island Snake Island is not named because of snake habitats living in the place but because of the snake-like shaped sandbar that connects two mainlands during low tide The Snake Island name is more promoted to tourists rather than using its original name Vegan Island When you do a short trek on top of the island you will be rewarded with a 360 view. The view on top is amazing. Hello, sandbar dito sa my snake island. So yung kinatatayuan namin ngayon, it's ito yung ulo daw ng snake. Tapos yung buntot is yung sa sunbar. So hindi siya kita. Our next destination is the Pupulcon Island. Instead of going to the Cathedral Cave, our tour guide suggests changing our itinerary and going for a snorkeling activity. Tourists were not allowed anymore to enter the Cathedral Cave because of the previous accident. Pupulcan Island is a blissful island that boasts a beautiful stretch of vibrant marine life. This place is a good mix for snorkeling and diving spot. Some say that reef sharks can be found in the area. During our snorkeling trip, the shallow waters already can offer you coral reefs. The corals are more likely staghorn corals, lettuce corals, table corals, massive corals, and mushroom corals. You can also see sea ferns in the area. For the reef fishes, I was able to identify butterfly, angel, and many fish that I don't know the names of. So when visiting snorkeling sites, enjoy every time you spend looking around. In Tatula Beach is the last stop of our tour today. In Tatula Beach is known for Red Bull events being held on the island. But we are gonna spend our time on the beach assigned for the tour. The beach offers white powdery sun, limestone rock formation, and its clear waters shade of emerald to blue. If you are tired from the activity, the place is a nice resting place. I still go for a snorkeling activity in the area to look for marine life. I was able to spot clownfishes. fishes.